Hello and welcome to this time of prayer and reflection. As we begin Advent, I hope that you are looking forward to all the good things that God has for you. Our reading is from Isaiah chapter 43 verse 18. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Amen. Are you the type that gets excited about a forthcoming event? You know the type that I mean. That wedding invitation for early next year. The secret party for that special person whose next birthday ends in a big zero. Or even a graduation due. The reward for lots of hard work and study. The third most exciting event I attended was a graduation at Edinburgh University. After three long years of study and working at the day job as well, the time came and a degree was bestowed upon me. I really did look forward to it. I had a few butterflies in my stomach, but afterwards we had the obligatory photos, a beautiful lunch in a posh place. But at that time, I didn't fully understand the impact that that event would have on my life. Within months, I was offered a new and exciting position in the bank. And along with others, we established a new department. And the truth is, I would never have been offered that had I not completed my studies and received my degree. For Christians, the period of Advent starts four Sundays before Christmas. And during this period, we look forward to celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. In a reading from Isaiah, God declares that he is going to do something exciting. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Jesus came to rebuild the broken relationships between heaven and earth. Emmanuel, God with us. An earth-shattering and world-changing event that truly was something new and something to celebrate and rejoice about. For the record, the second most exciting event I experienced was the day that Fiona accepted my marriage proposal. And the first was when I realised just how much God loves me and what he did for me through the cross of Christ. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Let's thank God for all the new things he does for us. Let's pray. Almighty God, enthroned in heaven above, we thank you that you're a God who does new and exciting things each day. You provide all that we need to keep body and soul together. You give us friends and family to love, support and encourage us daily. And you sent your Son, Jesus, to live among us, to teach us, to walk with us and demonstrate the fullness of your great love for each and every one. This Advent season, help us to recall the awe and wonder of God made man, who dwells in us by the power of your Holy Spirit and truly makes all things new. And now let's say together, the prayer taught to us by Emmanuel, God with us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us our daily bread, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, 
now and forever.